successful artist or it doesn't really matter you you have creativity in you. yeah so I feel as though everybody's creative and, and it's being yourself it's being who you are and being able to express that mm-hmm is the main bulk of it, being able to express your creativity. And there's people who say, well, I'm not creative, I can't do that, or I can't be creative, you're the creative person, you do that, but every, I feel it's like everybody's creative and everybody can be creative. And creativity is definitely a process, too, where you once you start feeding it, it grows. It gets to be more and more and you you want more, you wanna you wanna do more, you wanna be more, you wanna see more. It's it's like you plant the seed and say, Okay, I'm gonna be creative about this or that or the other thing mm-hmm. and before you know it it just grows into this giant thing and continues <laughs> And that's what I like about it because there's no boundaries in being creative. There's no limits. There's, it, 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 it's infinite. It just goes on. And that's basically. Okay. Do you consider yourself a creative person? Now, obviously, you said everybody has the capability of being creative. Do you consider yourself? No. No, I do. <laughs> well, that's an indicator of who. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I definitely feel like a very creative person, and I also feel that in knowing that I am and using my creativity, I help others to be creative. Mm-hmm. Which that's what I like about it because I get more joy in watching other people wanting to be creative over what something I did mm-hmm. than what I did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now, you own the place we're in right now, the Porcello Gallery, and you and I have talked about how um, ourselves as well as other people find there's something about this building and something about this place and something about you know, your art and other people's art is all around this place. Um, we, we find that this place um, gives us that sort of inspiration, that sort of, that sort of creativity. So I, I agree with you. I think that that is one way in which you are you're helping other people is the fact that you have this place, and, yeah. and, or whether it's this place, whether it's your work is somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not necessarily meaning it has to be this place, but right. the fact that it's somewhere else, um, people find inspiration from that, from from your creativity, um, and that Definitely. can be true for anybody who's creative. Okay. Um, tell me about the cr- uh, creative work that you do. So in other words, you're, you're a painter. Um, you're obviously also a musician. You um, play piano, you play guitar. Uh, you play a little bit of the, the drums there, the, uh, the djembe drums. But um, tell me a little bit about your, your creative work you know, and, and what, what you do with your creativity. Yeah, I feel I'm all I'm constantly in the process of being creative. Mm-hmm. It's it's like a constant thing. My my mind is always 
thinking of something mm -hmm. to be creative. If I'm in a mood to be creative, it just flows, it just happens. But sometimes you might not be in the mood, but if you take the initiative, if you do something towards it, it just start, it will start happening mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to a, a canvas and you're going to decide you want to do a painting and you're like, what am I going to paint? It's, it can stop you from doing a painting. But if you just go to the canvas and you just look at all your paint and pick a color and smash it onto the canvas mm -hmm. and don't think about what you're going to paint, mm -hmm. it it creates the creativity. Okay. It, it gets it going. Okay. So right now I'm looking at this is a painting of yours, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll describe this painting. It is um, primarily blue, but it's different, definitely different shades and gradations of of blue um, going down the the, the image. Um, it's, it's a very simple looking painting, but it's also a very effective painting. Um, do you recall how this painting got started? Mm, I think that was exactly just the way I described it. Mm -hmm. I, I just started putting, I just started putting it. paint on the canvas yep. and became what it is. Are there, spe spe uh, sorry, are there specific things or events that in your life that heighten your creativity? Are there certain things that go on in your life that, that really uh, make you feel that, that, that sense of creativity? So in other words, um, some people may say a walk in the woods. You know, right? Definitely nature um, yeah. inspires creativity for me. I think in most people it would in some way, um, but you can say a major event could spark creativity, just it could be a negative thing could happen, like one of your kids could do something really bad and then you want to write something, mm -hmm. or you, you know, your child is born yep. and you want to, you know, make a painting of it or you want to you know, draw something, draw mm -hmm. something, or write something, or write some poetry. You know, you get inspired by. So, so is there anything specific in your life that you find um, tends to do that for you, or is it could just be anything? Could be anything. Yeah. But other other creative people definitely. It. it, it, it it's like contagious. Yep. When when you see a creative <laughs> person, look what happened here. Right. I mean, we we started playing drums. Yep. And it turned into an art gallery, and yep. there's like hundreds of people coming around. Yep. <laughs> wanting to be a part of it all the time, you know. <laughs> yep. Well, it's definitely uh, definitely contagious. Um, are there things? Let's look at the other side of this. Are there other are there things in your life that will sometimes hamper your creativity? Like, do you find that you may go a week and you just don't feel creative at all because of something that's, you know, going on in your life? Uh, definitely, when you get in a place where you're doing things you really don't want to do, yep. and that could be the type of job you're in, the type of situation you got yourself into where you're, you're not being yourself, mm -hmm. that definitely can put a damper on Creativity. I think I think right there, not being yourself. You yeah. feel like you're not being yourself. Yeah. Yeah. find balance. I mean, everybody has those, you know, everybody um, definitely has those things in their life where they, they have to do certain things they have to do they don't want to do. 
you know, jobs, what have you. Um, how do you find that balance to, to, to keep and maintain that sense of creativity? I think you have to, you have to go to yourself and, and meditate. You have to get down deep into who you are and what you, what you are and, and be there. So I guess the balance is that you need to find that place mm -hmm. and try to be in that place yep. as much as possible. If you're doing something you don't want to be doing, right. you have your heart, you have your, your yourself mm -hmm. to go to mm -hmm. and say, I can be creative in my in my mind. I can be creative in my head. I can be creative in my heart. Yep. And and be sweeping the floor. Right. I can be thinking of of something I want to be doing. Yep. And that's the the, the creative process starts with a thought. Mm -hmm. It's it, it it definitely starts with a thought, and mm -hmm. and those thoughts can be going on while you're you know in work or wherever you are. So you, you, you can find that balance by being there all the, a lot of the time, mm -hmm. you know, try to be there all the time, you know. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Where do you get your, your, your inspiration to create? What, what inspires you? That one thought starts the, the whole thing, but w what... It could be I see something that someone else did that's mm -hmm. creative, mm -hmm. and it just gets it going. You yeah. know, it could be you hear some music right. that you like. Wow, uh, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. No, and, and and you you decide, oh, I, I want to do something similar to that. Mm -hmm. Or or you you're walking down the street and someone built a kind of cool looking fence. Yeah. You know, and there it is. Wow, look at that. I can make a house that looks like that yeah. now, you know, or, you know, it, it could be anything. Nature is like the most unbelievable thing when you think about it. Yeah. Just being out in nature is definitely mm -hmm. a huge part of it. I'm just curious, have, have your paintings ever been inspired by music? Now you talk about how you can be inspired by music. I'm just, I'm just wondering if something that seems totally different from, yeah. definitely. you know, you know yeah, I, I often like you. I could be doing a painting, and then I think of words that go with it. Yeah. Because I want to, I feel as though I want to describe what I'm feeling. Right. Or what's coming out of me that's going on in that painting. Mm -hmm. Same thing as if you're playing a, an instrumental piece. You, you, you're. It's coming from you inside you. Mm -hmm. you, you you're. It's growing and coming right out of you, mm -hmm. and you, you, your emotions are going out in that piece. You, it's same thing when you paint. Yep. But when you, I could be painting and then start thinking of words I want to write, you know, yep. or vice versa. Okay. Good. So definitely. What does inspiration feel like? Can you describe it? I know it's it's a tough question. It feels like. A fire inside you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I when I'm inspired, I'm in spirit. It's spirit. It's your spirit. That's what inspiration is. In in spirit. And and when you're in who you are, what you are, mm -hmm. your your core being, you cannot not be creative. Mm -hmm. It just, it, it, when you get to that place of nothing, that's what begins the whole creative process because you can go nowhere else but right. into creativity. Yeah. So. When you feel yourself inspired to create, okay, um, you're walking down the street and you know, you see, you're walking through the woods and you see something in nature that just absolutely, you know, you feel, you're feeling that fire, you're, 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 you're inspired. What's the next step in the creative process? How do, you, how do you seize that moment? That's a difficult thing because I think a lot of times 
you get that inspiration, but you can't get to it right away. Mm -hmm. And to hold on to that until you have the, the chance to go and do it, yep. you lose it a lot of times. So that, that's a hard thing. I, I mean, but if I if I can have the opportunity, or I will seize the moment and mm -hmm. go say, yeah, I I, I, I got to go do this right now. Yep. Yep. Like, because you know that's how I am. I know how I am, yep. and I'll either I'm gonna lose it if I don't write it down or, or do something with it. It it, it leaves, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. But I, there's always something else. Right, and that's. That goes back to that whole balance yeah. question. Is yeah. How do you balance? Because um, you're you're seeing things all around you all the time, and I, if you're anything like me, you have a million ideas. Yeah. Um, and I think that's actually one of my questions, um, and I'll ask it. It is um, well, basically, it's like do you, you know, do you feel like you have more creative ideas than you have time? Oh, and, definitely. And how do you how do you deal with that? I mean, it's it's, it's frustrating. It's, it's very frustrating. It's it, but like I said, it's in this. It's like a flowing fountain that yeah. never ends. How do you see a creative idea through to completion? Yeah, that's difficult. Like we were saying, it, it's definitely a difficult thing. And some things can be going on for days, months, years, mm -hmm. and I'll go back to it, too. I mean, I, I won't, really? you know, I can be, go back to a painting I did, started two years ago, and go, oh, and I guess it's, it's so, it, it's never ending, mm -hmm. because when I, I'm in a place ten years ago where I knew so much, about myself, about things I was going through, things I was uh, wanting to do, different things that in the creative process. Then, over the ten-year period, I learned a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I grasped a lot more things. I, I understand more. I have more wisdom. I have more understanding of of the whole creative process and everything. I look at that painting I might have done way back then, and now I have new insight on it because it's something I can go back to with all this new information and say, oh, okay, now I can continue on that. Mm -hmm. So I guess the completion thing can be going on for a long time. That's my segue to the next question. How do you know? when a project, creative idea, or a creative project is complete? Well, a lot of times I just feel comfortable with it and mm -hmm. walk away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and other times I, I feel like it's enough for now, mm -hmm. and I need to learn more before I can go back and finish. Right. You okay. know? Yeah. Okay. So, I could, because like in your job, in the, the things that you do, it's not like you have a deadline necessarily. No, I um, don't. I'm so not, a painting could go on for years. Like, that's why I don't like to do, people have asked me several times, you know, will you paint a painting for me? Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can't do that. Yeah. I, I can't paint from someone telling me what to do. Right. It, it just comes out. Yeah. Like it, it, a successful creative project so how do you know um, we all have creative projects and you know, we, we're done with them sometimes we feel great about them sometimes we don't feel so good about them what are the the attributes of a successful creative project for you A lot of 
of times I feel like anything you do to be creative at any point in that process mm -hmm. is okay. Yeah. It it's it's it feels okay. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I, I, I might be halfway through a painting and just feel comfortable with it and walk away and then two years later go back to it. Right. Because anything I can do <laughs> to express my feelings, yeah. of what I feel inside, mm -hmm. and bring it out and share it with other people, mm -hmm. and get other people to feel that feeling of being creative mm -hmm. is an accomplishment to me. Okay. How, how, um, how does feedback influence your creativity? Um, it does. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But um, it depends. Um, I found a lot of times when someone would say something and then I'll think about it and I might change something because of what they said. Mm -hmm. Because criticism is a good thing mm -hmm. if you don't let it get to you. Yep. It, it helps you go to the next level. Mm -hmm. So okay. I think it's good, e either negative or positive. Mm -hmm. I think it's all, all good. A little bit different take on the same question. How important is it that others buy into your creative idea or projects? So in other words, you know. Well, that, that I, I, I think I can take it or leave it. Yeah. Um, if someone doesn't like something, they're actually acting on what I did. Mm -hmm. It's a good way of looking at it. You know, they're... they're, they're to form an opinion about something you've done is, in a way, giving you credit for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you've, so, so what you're saying is that somehow you've still hit upon their yeah, emotions. Yeah, I mean, in some way. we've got them, the process going. Well, right. I, could, I think you should change that and put some red in that instead of yeah. having the blue there. Yeah. Well, they're being creative now. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we've, we've got them going. Okay. Here's a question I actually meant to ask earlier, but in what ways has creativity actually shaped your life? Um, and, it, you know, has it, made, has it influenced who you are today? Definitely. I, I feel as though, um, as far back as I can remember, If something tragic happened or, or something in any way, it made me go to that place mm -hmm. to want to be creative. And it, it, it definitely helped me get through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of times, if I'm not feeling good about a lot of things, if I can go to a place to be play the guitar or, or, you know, do a painting or do anything that makes, you know, write some words down, it, it kind of is a connection with your higher self. Yeah. It, it helps you through that, mm -hmm. that thing. Mm -hmm. And then in, in, in turn helps others because when they see or get a feeling from what you did, yep. It helps them too. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a growing again. Okay. Um, we've kind of touched upon this already, but do you feel you are contributing something to society? And is that important? Yeah, I, I do feel as though I didn't realize it mm -hmm. until um, we finally had. Um, a showing at the gallery and you know I didn't know what to expect because I never sh I had all my paintings in my house and like all in piles and everything and I finally decided I'm gonna show them to the public mm -hmm. and I 
you know, I'm hanging all the paintings and everything, and I'm feeling like, wow, what's this going to be? What's, what's going to happen here, you know? Uh, what are people going to think and all this stuff? And then I was amazed at the reaction of everybody because everybody was like, wow, you know, I like your paintings. Mm -hmm. They were saying different things. Could be positive, could be negative. But the one thing that happened that was so great to me was everybody said I want to stop painting <laughs> I want to I want to go home and play the yeah. piano now yeah. Yeah. I want to I know I used to do poetry and I'm yeah. gonna go home and do that again yeah. Yeah. it was like to me I, that was the most greatest thing that happened mm -hmm. and I realized that how everything can be influenced through you know, just be the creative process mm -hmm. can change everything. Yep. Change people, change the way people think and the way, you know, we care for each other and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we're sharing right. our emotions through creativity. Mm -hmm. Is it important for you to leave something behind for future generations? Is it important to you? Yeah. I feel like I want to, I think most people have that in them, they have the feeling of what is it all about, what mm -hmm. is it all for, what can I do to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I think that's... Okay. Two more questions. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you're currently working on? Um, Right now, getting together with a bass player and a drummer, and we're, I am on the guitar, and we're having some jam sessions, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we are uh, definitely working through that creative process. <laughs> <laughs> if you could ask, this is the final question, if you could ask one question of other creative people that we didn't already cover today? What would that question be? I mean, sometimes I wonder how some people do what they do mm -hmm. and, and get it going, get it started, getting... But everybody has a different way of doing it. Everybody's different. Everybody's totally mm -hmm. different. There's no two people right. that do it the same way. Yep. Just like, you know, Everything is different about everybody. It, it, the, the, the creative process is different yeah. in every person. So if you had, if this room were full of creative people right now, what's the one question you would ask them? Well, I, I would, I just love to hear how they tell the story about what they're doing. Okay. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love hearing I'm doing this or I'm doing that. Yep. And so I would just say, what do you do? Mm -hmm. And they would tell me the story and I would be happy with okay. that. Good.